For the next following month, Waffle Pwn and the Greatest Freak Out well, the, from the first video will be 10 years old, a decade old. And to be quite honest, I'm mostly surprised, but at the same time, it's been almost two years since we last saw these people, but I'll get to those later. First, let's get into the very first video, which was released in 20, 2009. Now, it became one of the most popular YouTube videos on the, on the internet. It's getting close to 100,000 views, which I'm actually kind of disappointed that other videos managed to get higher videos than this, especially the Crusty Girls videos. But my point is, is that I think that seeing this video, even as of now, is still one of the most hilarious videos I've ever seen in my entire life. Now, I really think that seeing Stephen Choir, who is the Obviously, the main character of the entire uh, in, in the entire series is really steals the show because when you see the very first video, you laugh immediately because when his mother completely cancel his World of Warcraft video, he really, really, really flips out big time to the point that no matter what he does, he really wants it his way. Same, same thing goes to the other videos that he's been doing, like, when he's playing a video game online, he really flips out so much, and I really think that this is probably one of the only times we're ever going to see Steven play video games. Sure, he can probably play Guitar Hero, but I think this one, since he's playing alone, is pretty much what everyone else's reaction, even though that someone is betraying him online. Now, as for the other Freak Out videos, it's mainly due to miss up, is well, it's some, it's up. It, it's just something to do with the situations that he's going through, like, he thinks he's gonna get a cool car, but he just gets something from the junkyard or something. Which is actually kind of hilarious, and when he completely destroys the vacuum cleaner, a dog completely chases him. Now, I will get into more and more about these videos that they've been doing for over this decade, but let's get into mainly what they do in the real world. Unlike Majigger Nuggets and Kippy on the Camera when they release a video almost every single day, Waffle Pwn doesn't do vlogs whatsoever. In fact, they didn't even think about doing vlogs when they first began making videos on YouTube back in 2009. You see, the thing is, is that whenever they try to release a video, it needs to be something original. That's why almost every single video has original video in the title. It really needs to show everyone that they want to be something original. Because when you see other videos like Majugga Nuggets and Angry Grandpa, you usually see them to do the same thing by destroying things but with different objects like a PS4 or a Wii U or an iPad or something. That's basically the only chases that they did. Waffle Pwn, on the other hand, they tried to do different things. Like, they have Stephen Cook. They tried to have Stephen do... try to be more flexible by doing gymnastics. And the other thing is probably the best video besides the first video, and that's the Garmin style video. So, so that's literally the only way that Waffle Pwn is going to get so much views to this day from this video alone. Since that video came out in 2013, it's probably the best video I've ever seen. <laughs> anyway, now let's get into some of the videos that would easily are trying their best to make it real, but at the same time, we pretty much know that it was fake. Now, Jack Cryo, who is the same guy who's been recording all the videos in these type of videos, has this TV, as you see right here, since, you know, since 2003, since he said he has that more than two, 10 years. And then in 2013, he just, they decided to just destroy it because Apparently, Steven wants some payback after a game recorded from Jack almost every single video. Even though that he's given the middle finger to so many people in one of the 2011 videos. I guess they're just trying to do that just to have something different. I mean, this video is mainly about 
ja Steve and Queen his third job, and they just segue into destroying Jack's TV. I guess they really didn't know what to do with this video, so they had to have two things go in at once. Besides, if this video ended with Steven getting off of the computer, then this video will probably be a waste of time. Anyway, let's get into what they do in real life. I'm pretty much sure that the reason why we didn't get a lot of videos since 2013 is because not only are they running out of ideas, but they have other things to do. 2013 is the first year where Ralph Upon has released two videos. I mean, in 2012, they uploaded multiple videos, but at this point, they really want to have ideals. It's mainly because they're probably getting sick and tired of doing the freakouts constantly, and to the point that they're probably trying their best to do something original, but having the time be worth it. Video number 30... Um, let's see. Number 30... Two is if I'm correct, is when Steven has came home from military school and then when his parents completely leave, he completely caused so much destruction by the pool. However, we only see minimum freakouts from him once he went to the forest. And this video is less than two minutes long, making it one of the shortest freakout videos I've ever seen from Martha Pond. Now, I really thought that this was going to be the final video from Alpha Pond because at this point there's really nothing that they can do in these types of videos. But apparently they made three more. And they in the second and the next one came out two months after this. My point is that these videos are gonna be really difficult to do. I mean in the, in the painting video which I didn't get didn't have an image of. They did some edits in between. I mean, it was at this point we pretty much know that Waffle Pawn is indeed fake and then just joined for the heck of it. One of the videos that got removed was when Jack completely traps Stephen in his room and he has no way out. I think that seeing videos like these just proves to me that they're just trying to try their best to make the videos over exaggerated as possible because this image was supposed to be the sixth freak out. However, due to, they decided to make another one by having Steven gain a boner while also trying to get really overreacted. Yes, I'm not making this up. They had to give him a boner, I know the boner isn't real, and the freak out is making him cry because he really hates getting trapped. I think that this idea that they did, they tried way, way, way too hard. And I think that that's why he completely removed that video. Because there's really no reason to have that video exist because of that over-exaggerated and overreacted performance from Steven. Besides, I pretty much know that Steven isn't that overreacting when it comes to getting trapped. And let's get into the video that people say that it's still the latest in the Freakouts videos. Now, this is when Rob Ninja, Rob Ninja, another YouTube channel, decided to review Steven Cryer and what he does in his life. Now, to be quite honest, this is really nothing special. I mean, for the, th for the only change that we know about this is that this video is six minutes longer. Which is actually something really well we see from Marvel Pond. But at the same time, for the majority of this video is just him doing a review and Jack say that Steven is impatient. And if you look at the video a little closer, you can tell that Steven and Jack are just getting way too old to be doing this. I mean, Jack isn't laughing a lot mainly because he's probably getting old from laughing and you pretty much know that the reactions are just getting old. And Steven isn't really, you know, freaking out like he used to. Like his reactions isn't as funny as he used to back in the earlier videos. So basically seeing this video from beginning to end and still being the latest in this video being two years old in about next month you can tell that at this point, they pretty much moved on. If there's one thing that I learned from Marvel Pond is that they completely disabled all the comments in all the videos. And I'm not making this up, I'm actually serious. I checked one of the videos 
some time ago and there were no more comments. At this point, they really didn't know what to do and they really want to move on with their lives because doing freak out videos is just, just getting really done to death. What makes this even more surprising is that seeing Steven getting older and doing other things and the fact that he probably doesn't live in this house anymore so just like Jack is, I guess that they're just only going to do these videos when they're ever going to be around the house or something because that's really the closest when it comes to making another freak out video from Stephen Quayle and Jack Quayle. And besides, just looking at the ending when Steven's just taking one of the cars from Web Ninja, it just shows to me that they're just doing everything they can to have some kind of desperate laugh. Besides, I think that the reason why they're taking why Steven is taking the cars because he completely offended him because he really likes Nickelback. I guess that's kind of racist, but at the same time, that's literally to him because saying someone just because you're someone who likes a type of music doesn't mean it's racist. And I think they're just doing it for the sake of having Steven freaking out and just being offended for something. Not that it's a problem, I just think that seeing stuff like this just really proves to me that they're really doing everything that they can, but not enough. And this was two years old. This, what, the, this video was two years old, and as of now, there's really nothing that Waffle Pone can easily do in order to improve the videos. So basically, even though that Waffle Pone is one of the most nostalgic YouTube channels before the 2010s came along, at, but at the same time, but at the same time, they're completely retired. Because as you can see, all your the other videos of all of them going on to trips to places, and they're also having a normal life. They pretty much have everything planned out with the videos. And if you see some cuts into the videos, you can tell that it was always fake. But they completely admit that. I mean, one of the people completely made a phone call of Je of Jack's of Waffle po of the choir's mother, so they can have a conversation about the videos. So to be quite honest, I'm really not disappointed that these guys are completely done with YouTube. I mean, it is a possibility, but a really, really 10% possibility when it comes to time. I mean, Jack Jack Cryo has is doing some different things. He's probably living in an apartment with his girlfriend right now. Yes, he does have a girlfriend. And when you see the videos, mainly people hanging out, I guess at this point they really got nothing else to prove. I mean, it is kind of amazing to see that this channel it has 1,000, 1 million and 600,000 subscribers, but at the same time, there's really nothing else that they can do in order to improve the YouTube channel. I mean, they did a Christmas video, they meet John, John Lucasine, I think that's how you pronounce his name, and they also try to, you know, make it really realistic. Like, there's some film people completely recording the choir family in 2010, and they try to make Steven really annoying. That's really all I can say. But I will say that even though that Waffle Pond is completely history at this point, I would say give them a watch. I can guarantee you that they're probably still, even though they're not relevant to this day since the recent video has been two years old and they're disabling comments, we don't know what's going to be for the future. Hopefully they can make another video, but at the same time, after everything, they pretty much move on and they don't want to go through so much situations involving freakouts anymore since they grown up. Grown up. Anyway, I'm Lonely Fanboy for you, and I'll see you next time. And just so you know, no, I'm not going to do a YouTube tribute to Christian Miracle this month. I'm going to do it next month. I'm only going to do two YouTube tributes per month. I'm just going to say that right now. Sorry for the change for my schedule of this year of this month.